Hey guys, welcome back to Go Together Go Far. I am super excited about this video. It is a long time in the making and uh, I can't wait to share it with you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple Blue Ox weight distribution hitches and we're gonna put them to the test. Um, I have a couple of them here. I have a traditional hitch uh, or a conventional hitch and we're gonna go put them up on a cat scale and let's see what happens. All right, guys, so if you're in the process of trying to evaluate whether or not you need a weight distribution hitch, uh, or particularly you're interested in one of these Blue Ox hitches, hopefully this video really helps you. What I'm gonna try and do is, I'm gonna hook up my Sway Pro hitch uh, to my, my trailer, take it up to a cat scale that's about 30 minutes away, and get everything weighed. While I'm there, I'm also gonna weigh it with a conventional hitch and, and, and just to make sure I have uh, a good kind of baseline. And then in a different video, I'm gonna install the Track Pro hitch and I'll show that video when it's ready. But once that thing's installed, then I'm gonna go get it weighed again with the Track Pro hitch. And uh, on those cat scales, they should be able to tell me how much weight is being transferred back and forth be between, um, between the truck and the trailer. So that should give us a good idea of exactly how much uh, weight is being distributed because of this hitch. I'm very excited about this because I've always wondered I know what the manuals say, I know what all the internet research says, but this will give us kind of some definitive measured proof of, of the effectiveness of these hitches. So if you're also debating between whether you want a Track Pro, which is their newer style, versus the Sway Pro, uh, we'll be able to see is there a difference in it, and I'll be able to tell is there a difference in driving this over the same distance, the same route. It'll be on different days, there's not much I can do about that. Um, but to see how much the uh, Sway Control is effective between these two these two hitches. In order to try to make this as even as possible with as few variables, the, the truck is completely fueled up, um, so there's no half a tank of gas in here that may throw off weight. Uh, I threw 280 pounds of bumper plates in the back of my truck to simulate having you know my wife and my my kids in the car plus some gear and stuff like that. So I've got that it will be exactly the same uh, every time. So we should get a good apples to apples to apples comparison of how much weight is being distributed between the truck and the trailer. And if this kind of information is helpful to you, I would love it and appreciate it. If you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the notification button and all that kind of stuff, that'd be great. And if you want more information on Blue Ox hitches or hitches in general, I have a ton of stuff on our website, gotogethergofar.com. Uh, I'll put links to all this stuff down below. Uh, in the interest of fairness, uh, this Blue Ox Sway Pro hitch I purchased. This Track Pro hitch, uh, Blue Ox sent this to me for free, which is awesome, in the hat. And so, but this cat scale test will allow us to really measure the effectiveness of it. So you don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take Blue Ox's word for it. We're gonna have independent testing and we're gonna see what happens. So um, I've got affiliate links down below. If you're interested in buying one of these, buy it from my affiliate link. Amazon kicks me back a couple bucks and that's awesome too. And uh, all right, let's get started. Okay, before I hook up, I do wanna walk you real quick through the difference between the Sway Pro and the Track Pro. So the biggest, most visible difference here is the spring bars. Uh, the Sway Pro obviously has these chains on it and these are used to apply tension to keep the, the trailer in line and help prevent some, some sway and to help with the weight distribution. Um, if you want to see how this works and how to hook it up and disconnect it, uh, look up in the, the, the corners or, or down below. I have videos I've done on all that um, that, are, that are pretty good and, and you can watch those. Um, but that's the Sway Pro. The Track Pro does not have any of that. So the Track Pro has no change or anything. When this is hooked up, uh, there's a, the brackets that these hook up against, it's physically pushing on this. Um, that gives it some extra friction uh, and helps keep this thing in line. Um, so it's sl similar in concept, slightly different way of getting there. Um, other than that, the hitch head assembly on both is pretty similar. Um, like I, this, is, this piece here, is basically identical. Uh, the finish and stuff is a little different, but both of these are the seven holes, so these are all the same. And, and these, when you install them, can go in either way, whatever works better for you and your trailer. Um, 
Fit and finish on uh, the Track Pro is a little nicer uh, with some Blue Ox kind of decal and stuff here. Uh, but this is brand new out of the box. It's never been used. Uh, this one's got a couple years worth of, of use out of it. So uh, for that, it, it looks pretty good. Both of them are probably going to hold up just fine. And then, of course, uh, for weighing purposes, I have a kind of conventional hitch that I'll hook up to. I'm not even sure the ball is the right size on that one, so I'll only use that for weighing, not towing. And, um, yeah, let's go up there and let's go check it out. Okay, guys, we're at this Flying J, and I went in and I talked to people, and I said, I don't know how to do this. Can you show me how to do it? They walked me through it. Uh, so I'm going to go pull up on those cat scales for the first time and do our first way. So let's, let's see how this goes. Okay, so my, my front tires are on the first plate. My rear axle of my truck is on the middle plate. And my um, trailer itself is on the third plate. I'm going to go hit this button, see if, uh, see if we can get them to uh, confirm the weight. All right, couldn't quite hear what they said because it's awfully noisy out there. But I'm gonna go pull through, and uh, we'll go see if I if we're done. Okay, so we're gonna go through the cat scales. This is my second attempt at my first try. The first time. <laughs> Uh, I couldn't quite hear so well. It was pretty noisy out there with the trucks. And they said, hold on. And I thought they said, go ahead. So I, I, I went ahead and moved off the scale. Uh, my bad. So I went in and I said, yep, go back through. No big deal. Super nice people here at the Flying J. And uh, let's do this again. Give me just a moment. All righty. Got your weight, see when you come inside. Go ahead and pull off. Alrighty. Alright, so I can pull off. Alright guys, first time through the cat scales with the blue ox. Got my slip. I'm gonna show you the results here in a second. This is interesting. Uh, I've never been through a blue ox scale before with, with my weight distribution. I'm glad I have my weight distribution and I'm gonna show you those results here shortly. Now I'm gonna go hook up my conventional hitch, go through one more time with that, and let's see how things change. See you back here in a second. All right, guys, I'm back. Just went through the scale on the conventional hitch. Uh, I would never tow like this. It is crazy as, as I'll show some, some video of, uh, of what it looks like. Um, but so now I got two here. I got one more to go. Um, next time you'll see me, I'll be back here with a uh, Blue Ox Track Pro all hooked up. We'll do the same thing and then we'll look at the results and we'll compare. They are super interesting so far. See you in a bit. Okay guys, through the magic of YouTube and video editing, we're back at the cat scale. I am hooked up with my Track Pro. Uh, I filmed the video where I actually installed it uh, and I'll put links to that in the description. So if you wanna go check that out, uh, you can do that. Um, but that's what I've got hooked up. Came back up here to the Flying J, fully loaded the same way that I, that I was before. I'm gonna go hop on this cat scale and get away. And then we'll come back and talk about some numbers. See you in one second. Your RV. Yes, please. All right, I got you. You can come on into the front desk. Thank you. All right, you got it. Okay, guys, I'm done. I have three cat scale tickets here uh, conventional, Blue Ox uh, Sway Pro, and the Blue Ox Track Pro. So let's talk about the numbers. And you'll forgive me, I got to refer to my phone to keep them all straight here. But my truck, as designed, front uh, gross uh, axle ratio weight. 3450 the rear is 4050 right combined for the vehicle it's 7000 pounds that's important I'll, I'll come back to that in a minute so with the conventional one and I'll put something up on the screen so you can kind of see it and I'll, I'll put the numbers down in the description below so check that out my front axle was 2780 my rear was 4300 so that is 250 pounds over my limit that's with the conventional hitch um, my total combined uh, weight for both the trailer and the truck uh, 13,780 all of that was fine 
the the trailer itself was uh, 6,700 pounds. That was all fine. So with the conventional hitch, my rear axle was over by 250 pounds, and that's that's important because I don't tow like that. But just so you, as a kind of a baseline. So let's talk about with the Sway Pro. So this is a good weight distribution hitch. This is one that I've been using. So this one gave me 3,020 on my front axle, uh, 3,960 on my rear, right? So I'm under uh, my limit, but I'm close, um, closer probably than I'd like to be. Trailer was 6,800. Uh, the combined uh, weight for both vehicles did not change. Um, so I'm under my limit on that one, but it's, it's pr still pretty close. And one of the things you notice in that case, where I'm really pushing it is on my max capacity for my truck, so which is 7,000 pounds. In that scenario, I'm at 6980, which is pretty close, well, much closer than, than I think I'm comfortable with. Um, so let's talk about this Track Pro. So this Track Pro uh, moved uh, my front axle to 3120. That's huge. That's, uh, I don't know, like 300 pounds more than, than the conventional. So it's almost, a, you know, it's another 100 pounds um, moved to the front with, with the Track Pro than what I had on the other one. Uh, my rear was 3820, so a little better there. Now I'm starting to come, on, uh, come under my, my axle, uh, max rear axle. And uh, the trailer was 6820 on that one. So put a little more weight back on the trailer. My combined on that one, so with this trip, I was 20 pounds lighter. I was 13,760. I don't know where that 20 pounds is missing. I've got it pretty loaded, but 20 pounds between these two vehicles, um, weeks in, in difference between filming, feels like I'm pretty bang on. Um, so in that case, uh, I am much better in terms of weight distribution with the Track Pro than I was with the Sway Pro or certainly with, with the conventional hitch. Um, where I'm a little nervous and I may have to do a future video on this is that my vehicle for this F-150 as designed is kind of maxed out at about 7,000 pounds. And as I've got that, I am basically just under that, right, by, by 20 or 40 pounds. That's probably a little more than I'm comfortable with. Um, I think, you know, I'm within my limits, but I'm not trying to push my limits. So uh, with this, with the particular trailer that I have, it's 33 feet long. So it, it gets, it gets a lot of wind and stuff like that. And, and you know, it kind of makes me think that I may be better off moving up to a 250 or, uh, you know, a three quarter ton truck or, or a, a, a something bigger. So overall, guys, this has been a great experience. It showed me exactly what a weight distribution can do for the vehicle and, and how well it performs. Uh, I highly recommend one of these Blue Ox hitches. Go check out my descriptions down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if this helped you at all or you learned something. I learned a bunch. Give me a little thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to check out Go Together, Go Far, where I do a little more detail on uh, some other hitches that are out there and some other information that you guys may find useful. With that said, guys, thank you very much for watching. Check out some of my other videos. See ya.